All right, we're here with Reese Flood from Lindsay High School. First off, Reese, congratulations on winning the 3A Pitcher of the Year. What got you interested in softball? Um, ever since the hospital I've been playing softball pretty much. Um, uh, I started out in T-ball when I was five years old. I... Um, a lot of people don't understand what it's like to do AAU or fall ball, um, summer ball as well. How many states have you played in and how many different teams have you faced, do you think, since just literally in two years? I couldn't even count how many teams we've faced. I've been to, I've been, I've played in Oklahoma, Texas, Florida, California, Colorado, Kansas. Okay. I think that's it. When you had the opportunity to go to state, I know Lindsay had made it, I believe, seven times, if I remember correctly, in slow pitch. Yeah. And they've won two state titles. But for fast pitch, totally different. When you guys made it to the state playoffs last year, you won the first ever quarterfinal game in yeah. school history. You made it to the state semifinals. What was it like as an experience for the team and specifically being a freshman pitcher to have that kind of pressure on you to starting in those games? It was a big deal. I mean, but my team really helped me a lot. They were super supportive. Every time I felt like, well, I felt like it was kind of on me, like I needed to push through for my team. They always were there to remind me, like, well, we're here behind you too. So there wasn't too much, there was a lot of pressure, but not, not some unbearable pressure. So. This season, you guys kind of came in instead of being the team that flew under the radar, you were expected yes. to make state. Yes. You were expected to make it deep into the playoffs. Uh, for the first time ever, you guys actually got a chance to play for a Super Regional and won that as well. And then a heartbreaker in the state quarterfinals against Silo. Yeah. Everything was going well until the final inning, and then it just kind of fell apart. I know it was disappointing, but at the same time, what did you guys talk about when you left the field that day? Was it sadness? Was it joy to reach as far as you did? Or was it determination to get farther next season? I think it was more determination to get further next year. We, like you said, we were expected to make it far. And I think we, we expected. And we kind of let that, like we let that settle with us. And that's when you can't let it settle. So I think that's kind of what happened. But in the end of it, we were all kind of like, well, we won't let that happen again. So next year we'll first make it. Several schools are just perennial powerhouses, and you had the misfortune of being seated against Silo, who has a ton of experience. When you guys participate in practice and you get ready to start the fall 2024 season, will there be any new additions, any new players, or will it be basically girls that you've played with for years and years now? Well, we have three seniors graduating. We are supposed to be gaining a few freshmen. So we'll pretty much we lose. We lost both of our middle infielders and a catcher. So And we have a few freshman catcher coming up. We have two other catchers that can catch that are juniors. And so we have a few girls that we'll definitely be able to fill as well. All right, final thing. I scouted over 200 pitchers this year. And I took stats for a little over 350. So for you to make the top 10 was a great honor. And we're talking 6A, 5A, 4A, 3A, 2A, A, and B. Also, to make the five semifinals was a great honor as well. However, to be the 3A pitcher of the year for multiple places recognizing you, what is it like just from a, a point of view as a student athlete to be able to be recognized and have a belt like you got done? I, honestly, it's kind of insane. I've never had anyone recognize me like this. It was a big deal for me, like to be able to stand out there. And as you saw, I was pretty nervous. So I've never had anybody stand up there and be like, ladies and gentlemen, Reese Blood, here you go. And definitely never gotten anything like this. So that was pretty cool. Well, I'm happy for you. It's my privilege and pleasure, and I'm thrilled you do even better this next year. Got to get, got to get to finals this time. Finals are bust. I will. All right, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Reese Flood. Appreciate you taking time.